Yes, yes, Massive Room Crew back once again with another video. It's 8 a.m. and I'm up really early today, just cracking on with editing videos and stuff and preparing the brain release schedule, which I'm going to release shortly. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, smash that like button if you want to see the brain schedule, which is coming your way very, very soon. I'm going to give you a comprehensive program of what's being released when, and that is coming very, very soon, people. Uh, so look out for that. Headphones are pretty cool, they feel quite good for the old ears. A little mic boom here, so it's quite comfortable. Not sure what they sound like yet, haven't plugged them in, but these would be good for just doing some tutorials where I don't really want to hold the mic up to my face. Yes, it's Massive Crew back once again with another video, and I'm in the process of installing my Cryo Flux controller setup here. As you can see, uh, literally this Cryoflux allows me to read Amiga discs using a different software uh, instead of using um, the usual OmniFlop. This one actually can rip and I believe write to images using this floppy drive, which is a standard floppy drive, but it connects to this controller here. So what I'm, what I'm in the process of doing, uh, as you can see, is I'm putting this in my PC. So I've just cleared out a hole there. I've got a regular drive that I use for the uh, Omniflop and I'm going to install another drive at the bottom to use for Cryoflux just to see the difference. Sometimes this might need uh, you know, extra tools and this thing's just sort of dangling around sitting outside uh, of my Mac at the moment and uh, there's a risk of it getting damaged so I decided to find a way I'm going to install this inside of my uh, my PC I use this PC up here on a third screen to read all the Facebook live messages when I'm going live as you can see I've got a screen up there it's my third screen which is off at the moment um, and uh, yeah this is my kind of compatible um, old school with SCSI installed computer that I basically use for all of my Akai communication and stuff like that so if we could it'd be a good a good machine just to put the flock the cryoflux set up on so yeah guys um i'll keep you posted on that and uh let you know how it goes So now I'm going to connect the USB plug somewhere around the back, that's pretty much the connection of it. Um, and then I've just got to put the screws in. And that's it, game over. And you can see I've plugged it in, power lights on. Now I've got to find somewhere to fix it so it's not going to get... Um, earthed out because all these pins they can't touch the chassis if they touch the chassis you could blow it while it's on so comment down below if you know any way of insulating this properly okay for now until i find a better sort of way to do this i'm just gonna put a bit of insulation tape on the bottom of it just neaten that get a pair of scissors cut it and then just tape that all up there Okay guys, better still I found some double-sided insulation tape. This is quite th thick. I wouldn't say it's insulation, but it's double-sided tape. It's quite thick. I reckon it will insulate it okay. And then I can just peel it off and then stick it on. Probably hot glue the base of it or something. So let me give that a go. Let's get rid of this. Don't need it now. There we go. Lovely job. Peel that off. There as well. Quite sticky. Okay, guys, I've got this idea, right, to stick it to the roof of my tower up inside here. Let me see if it will hold. Obviously, I can't see the lights on on it, but no, it won't hold. But definitely with some hot glue, I reckon I could hot glue that up there, and it will stay. So I bought this little screw box the other day on uh, eBay. It's got tons of little computer screws, so handy for when I want to screw in these little drives and get some bobs. So now I've just got to find a little screw that will work for this. I think this one should do the trick. Got a couple of screws in just to hold the drive in place. And uh, secure that in place and we're done. So as you can see guys, the driver is now installed. Because it's working properly. 
Now, let me see, where's that DTC? We've got the DTC software. Okay, so my drive's calibrating, looking good. Cryoflux disk system drivers software installed successfully. They're ready to use, right? So now, test, start, and let's see. Okay, we've got some bad sectors. If we get some green lights, we know we're good. So at the moment, it's not really reading, right? Could be the disc, not sure, but it worked for a few tests. I'm gonna just mess about with it, and uh, I'll let you know in another video. Comment down below if you have any questions. So that's it for the video so far, people. If you wanna see more Cryoflux tutorials, smash the like button, let me know. Any questions down below, I'll try to answer them. Always look out for your questions. Um, 